Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a haul from the Dollar Tree. I have not been there in a while. Um, decided to stop by one of the larger Dollar Trees in my area, and I found some pretty good stuff. So I wanted to show you all what I picked up. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while because now, um, and I don't know if it's like this in your area, but now our Dollar Trees are Dollar Tree Pluses, which means things are a dollar and up. So it could be $2, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. So um, anyway, everything that I picked up today was a buck. So let me show you what I picked up. So I needed some baking soda for our fridge and freezer. Um, I haven't used it in a while or used any in my fridge or freezer in a while and I know that I need some so grab two boxes. This is a new scent of gain for me at least. I haven't seen it anywhere. Blissful, let me back up a little bit. Blissful Breeze and it smells really good so I just decided to try out this small sample size. It, um, has six loads, you can use this for six loads of laundry. And then, I've never seen this before either, Dynamo Color Capture. So I use um, these now, but it's the name brand. Gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, but it's a lot more expensive, and I saw this brand in the Dollar Tree. I hope it works, but I always throw um, one of these color catchers, in, color catchers in my wash just to make sure that it doesn't bleed. If I have something in there that bleeds on something else in the laundry, I hate that. Um, but the ones that I buy, cannot remember the name of them right now, um, but the ones that I buy are pretty pricey. And then when I saw these, this in the Dollar Tree for a buck, for 10, I grabbed two, and I'm hoping that they wash, that they uh, work just the same. Then I just needed some bottled water. We still have uh, guests and visitors coming over visiting and meeting Harrison, so I just wanted to have these in the fridge. And then I call, saw a couple of snack items. Um, this one is Munchy Mix, sweet and salty, and you get um, double dipped peanuts, yogurt covered pretzels, salted pretzels, raisins, dry roasted peanuts, um, chocolate chip cookies, and premium white chips. And then I also got some Moose Mix, Moose Munch, I don't know why I can't talk today, by Harry and David. I really like it a lot. It's basically chocolate covered nuts and um, popcorn and um, all that good stuff. So it's kind of like um, poppycock, if you've ever had that before, but it has chocolate covered pieces in there. Um, so I picked that up. Um, I just like to have pepperoni because I use that for different things. So I picked up that and then also, um, I have not seen these before, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Erasers in the Dollar Tree, and I thought that was a really good deal for a buck. So I grabbed that. Also grabbed some thin spaghetti, and you get 50% more, and we are out of spaghetti, so grab that. And then um, the last food-related item that I picked up are these microwavable Mahatma bags of rice. They are jasmine rice and it's a really good deal. So one bag is two servings, so there's two cups of rice in here. Pick these up for quick meal nights when I don't feel like making rice or if Howard is cooking dinner, he doesn't really like to make rice. So this is um, something easy for him that he can pop into the microwave. And I did get six bags. I mean, you can't beat that. This is really inexpensive for name brand microwavable rice. Um, another thing, uh, the last few things I picked up from the Dollar Tree are a bunch of cookbooks. And so, um, Breakfast Made Simple, and then they have Chicken Made Simple. So let me show you a few of the recipes, or the pictures, if I can do that. Um, so that looks really good, a stuffed omelet. Here's a recipe for that, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. But it's a colored, um, booklet, this French toast, a lot of good recipes, and they seem pretty simple. So breakfast, and I got the chicken one as well. Let me show you a picture. That's what they look like. And they also had, um, in this particular cookbook series, they had vegetables, they had um, some others as well. Actually, let me show you. So right here on the back, it shows you the other things that they had. Now in my store, the only one that they didn't have is the keto. 
They didn't have keto, but they had all of these others, chicken, breakfast, soup, pasta, and vegetables. So they had that. And then they had these um, bound cookbooks as well. And I was excited. Now, they're not color as you can see, but they're pretty thick. So this one is over a hundred pages, okay? And this one is probably my favorite because it has recipes from several different decades. So from the 20s, 30s, 70s, 80s, 90s, etc. It has the popular recipes from that era. So I got this one, it's called, well, this one called Unforgettable. And then I picked up this mac and cheese cookbook and it has also about 100 page, pages. Now this one does have colored pages in there, or colored pictures, excuse me, cannot talk today. So here they are. There you go. And then the last bound or ring bound cookbook that I picked up were these dump, um, the dump bake cakes cookbook. And here it is. This is what it looks like. And this one has the color pages in it as well. And it has some really good looking recipes. So there's a glare. Some really good looking recipes. So. Um, that's it. Like I said, I just picked up a few things from the Dollar Tree. Again, I'm trying not to go super crazy buying a bunch of stuff I don't need because we are still trying to do a pantry challenge and freezer challenge, but I really couldn't pass up that rice because that's an excellent deal. And then we needed uh, spaghetti noodles. So those are the only, oh, and the pepperonis. So those are the only food related products that I bought. So I'm really excited about that. But this is it, just a short and sweet haul from the 99, from the Dollar Tree, excuse me. Um, hopefully you can find some of these goodies in your Dollar Tree. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time.